But the humming... Uh, uh, don't tell me. You've seen Septima organise herself into a cupboard again. <laughs> nope. Oh. Uh, you've seen Dr Von Pompernickel set his own hair on fire? Eh, yeah, funny, but no, that's not why I'm humming, sir. <laughs> OK, I'm totally out. Why are you humming? <laughs> I was humming to make sure that you can't sing. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, very nice. Yeah, great. But you do look happier than usual. That's concerning. Uh, well, actually, yeah, now you mention it, there's a chocolate cake over there with my name all over it, Michael Tinky. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa. That is some chocolate cake. Taste it from here. And your name is literally all over this. Aye. These are pretty passive-aggressive notes. Well, they're not meant to be passive-aggressive. Well, I think you'll find I think they're just meant to be aggressive. Ah, uh, yeah, very good. Well, <laughs> do you know what? I think they do the trick. I cannot imagine anyone stupid enough to eat your cake. Exactly. Now, before you ask, yes, it's all for me. Yeah, thanks very much, Mr Grumpy. <laughs> Somebody's cake. <laughs> what happened? Oh, more cake to it. I could fit in a little bit more. What is this? Some kind of green chocolate. Oh, that's not green cake. That's. Uh oh. Mr. Grumpy has... Mr. Grumpy? Mr. Grumpy? Oh, no! This is Mr. Grumpy's cake! Ah! Oopa doopa doopa. I go. Uh, Where is my chocolate cake? Oh, uh, and alienate it. And where is this alien now? Oh, I ate the alien. Yum, yum. Right. And that would explain the chocolate around your face, would it? Uh, yes. Yes, exactly. Yes, it would. The, the alien ate the chocolate cake and I ate the alien. Now I have chocolate on my face. You're welcome. Ah, yes, I got, of course. Now, was there really an alien? Or did you just eat my cake? <clears throat> Oopsie. You cake-eating, big-nosed, 
carrot face turnip. Oh, no! That was my special cake, you flabby goldfish's uncle. But it was so tasty looking and... Tasty tasting, and then it was... Then it was just gone. If you were going to eat something you weren't meant to eat, why didn't you just do us all a favour and eat Michael's guitar? I tried, and it kept getting caught on my teeth. But did you not see me not? All over the cake. What part of Mr. Grumpy's cake hangs off? Did you not understand? What? Oh, uh, it happened so fast, though. Oh, you must be stupider than you look. What? I've been waiting to eat that cake all day. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. But oh, no, I won't bring my cake back. You have ruined what could have been a perfect day. Oh. Shame on you. Shame. Mr. Grumpy, come back. I'll make it up to you. Oh. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, oh, Roberta, help me. I am Roberta, the ship's onboard computer. <laughs> Hi, Roberta. How are you? Uh, uh, I need to do a job for Mr. Grumpy to make him happy again. Or less grumpy, anyway. Well, those are words you don't hear often. No. How about doing his laundry? Oh, yes, of course. Find his dirty laundry and then clean it, yes. Follow the eye nose. Oh, 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 smell getting stronger. Desire to throw up, intensifying. Come on, Igor. Oh, oh, smell so strong. But must push through and wash them. Must pay for my crimes against Mr. Grumpy and chocolate. Igor penance. Oh. Doctor, doctor! Oh, why are you staring at me like that? Well, you said doctor, doctor, and normally you say, uh, I feel like a pair of dolphins! Or something like that. What's so funny about dolphins? I don't know, you're the one telling the joke. Oh, no, 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 dolphins! No dolphins! Real life emergency doctor! What seems to be the problem? I must wash Mr. Grumpy's socks. But, but why? But they are very stinky. <laughs> I ate Mr. Grumpy's cake and I feel so bad. And I need to do something so that he'll be my friend again. So I'm going to wash his socks. Well, I have the perfect thing. I'm just going to pop them into here. Into there. Goes the socks, and oh, we might as well do the rest of his washing as well. Mm. And, uh, oh, there's a nice pair of trousers, special trousers there. And they're all going to the washing machine. Uh, ah, but it's not just any washing machine, my dear Igor. What? Have you ever tried to do the washing, but when it came out, it still had those pesky bits of fluff and the hair still on them? Yes, I normally eat them. Ah, <laughs> well, I applied my dazzling intellect to the problem and came up with the solution. Uh -huh. Behold, the intergalactic terraferma extrication device thingy! All I did was I combined a standard washing machine with, get this, a chainsaw! <laughs> All of that pesky fluff will be obliterated! <laughs> no more fluff! No more fluff, no more socks! They're ruined! Now I must go and fix his socks! But how? They have no hands! No! <sighs> Maybe I overdid it on the detergent. Remind me again why we're doing this. Because I ate Mr. Grumpy's cake, and now I must fix his socks. But why do his socks need fixing? Oh, oh wait, let me guess. You tried washing them in Dr. Von Pompernickel's washing machine, yes. crossed with a chainsaw, yes. and now you're just left with a pile of fluff. Uh, hey, how did you know? Well... I tried washing my jumper in there and it came out looking like it had a fight with a lion and then a tiger and then a crocodile and lost to all three. Oh, yes. And now Mr. Grumpy's going to be mad at me for eating his cake and ruining his socks. 
Look, I'm sure Mr. Grumpy won't really mind. Oh, yes, he will. He's Mr. Grumpy. Yeah, good point. But have you tried apologising to him? Apolo what? Apologising. You know, saying sorry. Oh, no, that won't do any good. And we got to make it up to him. Must pay for my crime. I go penance. Must pay for cake. Well, look, this is ridiculous. It's it's impossible to stick together all these little bits of fluff. <laughs> Hello, Igor. Or should I say, Kate Guzzle? Oh, hello, Mr. Grumpy. Hey, you're collecting belly button fluff again, Igor. What, this? Yeah, actually, that's quite a nice colour. Better than the usual blue that comes out of you. Sort the colour of my best, most favourite socks. Oh, hey, they are. Yes. Talking of which, I wonder where my socks have got to. You know, I said to me, I put them in the wash basket and now they've disappeared. Oh, nothing's happened to them. They really are my favourite socks. Really? Ah! Hold on, I go. I'm coming. What's up with him? I tell you, this crew gets barmier and barmier every day. Right, um, I think we need a touch more flour. Touch more yes. flour. Just a touch. That is touched. And a uh, zingy water. Ooh, oh, that would be great. Ah, look at that. You can't mix electricity and water except here. Mmm, that looks very good indeed. Yes, yes. Mm. And, uh, 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 Igor, uh, what's going on? Oh, hi, Septima. We are making Mr. Grumpy another cake. <laughs> yes. You are? Yes. Absolutely. Well, at first I thought we could summon it from the air with the words, uh, <clears throat> Oh, cook, can we have some more cake, please? Oh, cook, more cake, please, and a touch of flour. But that didn't seem to work. Oh. Really? Yes, mm. I know. Very strange. Mm. Always worked when I was a child, what? Mm. Yes. OK, so what's in the cake? Oh, yummy things. Uh, spaghetti, crunchy things and magic dust. Mm. Igor, how many times wires are not spaghetti? It is forbidden spaghetti. And these are crunchy things. They're microchips. Uh, you can still eat chips. And uh, this magic dust is... Oh, actually, I have no idea what that dust is. I found it in the hoover. Igor! Uh, yes. I have to say, at first, I did think it was a little strange. Strange. But then I wondered if it was exotic. Exotic, uh, yes. At the time that I ate blue carrots and blue pie, turned out they were just mouldy. Still, waste not, want not, as they say. Mm. Though I did want a bucket afterwards. Oh. Right, Igor, this is not a proper cake. No. You've got to end up poisoning Mr Grumpy, not making him happier. Oh, no. Mr. Grumpy would never be my friend if I poisoned him again. Oh, no! Oh, hold on, Igor! Come back! I I'll help you make another cake if you want! Uh, oh, well... I can help! Ah, uh, uh, why don't you just do the washing up? Yes, righty-ho. Oh, and uh, we'll find a bin. Righty-ho! Mm. Oh, hey, Mr. Grumpy. <clears throat> You're looking a little bit... grumpy. Grumpy? Grumpy? Of course I'm grumpy. You will be too if I go to eating your cake. Well, your special cake. Your special chocolate cake. Oh, 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 no. Mr. Grumpy, Mr. Grumpy. Ah, uh, here he comes, Michael. Chief Cake Pilferer. Oh. oh, Mr. Grumpy, I've tried to make it up to you. I even washed your socks. Ah, uh, yes. I liked my socks, the ill-fated socks. My special socks. How I do fondly remember thee when they weren't a pile of fluff. Oh, you realise what I did? I tried to make you a new cake, too. Honestly, I go. I wouldn't eat anything you'd make. It'd probably be full of wires. Oh, how did you know I made it with wires? Hang on a second. What? What is going on here? 
but, but it's a long story. After I ate Mr. Grumpy's special cake, I tried paying him back by cleaning his socks. But uh, Dr. Von Pumpernick was machine with the chainsaw, ate them, and spat them out. What do you expect his machines to do? Actually work? Are you for real? Don't be ridiculous. Uh. Hang on a second. Why were you trying to pay Mr. Grumpy back? Didn't you say sorry? What? No. Oh, Igor, it is hard saying sorry. No, it's not that, Michael. I didn't want it to seem like I thought it didn't matter. Yeah, and it does matter. That cake mattered a lot to me. Uh. Igor, you think that being sorry is saying that it doesn't matter? Uh, yes, isn't that what it means? No, quite the opposite. We say sorry because we know it does matter. Oh. Quite right. And then I get to demand that you pay me back. Ain't that right, Michael? Come on, back us up. Well, actually, the Bible says we should forgive each other. Yeah. We say, even though what you did really hurt me, I'm not going to make you pay me back. Interesting. Right, so why should I do that? Well, because that's what God does for you and me. Oh. He doesn't make us pay for his love and forgiveness. Hang on a second. But Roberta! Oh. I am Roberta, the ship's onboard computer. Roberta, there's a special Bible word for that kind of forgiveness. What is it? The word is grace. A free gift you cannot earn. So, should I say sorry, or...? Yes, you should. I'm sorry for eating your cake, Mr. Grumpy. I know it was your special cake, and they really upset you. Hmm. Hang on, Michael. So you're saying I should forgive him with no monetary compensation, no hard time saved, and no I go penance for free? Yes, because God does that for you and me. Well, I suppose if God does that for me, I guess I can... Mm-hmm. Come on, spit it out, Mr. Grumpy. Yeah, all right, I'm getting to it. I forgive you, I go. Uh, oh, thank you, Mr. Grumpy. Oh, I still wish I had some cake, though. Did someone say cake? Oh! <laughs> oh. Give me, give me, give me all of the cake. Oh, no, sorry. It's a cake for Mr. Grumpy. Yes, over here, over here, Look all for me, that. all for me. Looks to uh, Mr. Grumpy. What? Uh, I suppose I can share a bit of it with you all as well. Just don't hug it. <laughs> it seems things turned out all right in the end. That it did. And talking of which, I think I've got a song all about Grace. No! Lots of things we think maybe could earn God's love Like, uh, if I do lots of good things, then God will love me But no Or maybe if I go to church every Sunday, then God will love me But no There's only one reason God loves you And that's because of Him And it's called Grace Your works won't do it Your money won't do it You cannot earn God's love Your tears won't do it Your singing won't do it You cannot earn God's love This is why, people It's all about grace, grace, grace us. Nothing we can do to earn God's love. It's all about grace, grace, grace. And then when we think He's done, we hope for grace He gives to us through Jesus Christ His Son. Oh, but maybe if I'm beautiful, no, it's all about grace. Your beauty won't do it. Your prayers won't. 
God's love. Your fame won't do it. I'm so amazing. Your family won't do it. Only love it. You cannot earn God's love. And this is why. Are you ready? It's all about grace, grace, grace. He freely gives to us. There's nothing we can do to earn God's love. It's all about grace, grace, grace. And then when we think He's done, He floats for grace He gives to us through Jesus Christ His Son. I think we need a key change. Can you take it, fellas? It's all about grace, grace, grace. Freely He gives to us. There's nothing we can do to earn God's love. It's all about grace, grace, grace. And then when we think He's done, there's loads more grace He gives to us through Jesus Christ His Son.